Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back with another Direwolf 20 episode for you guys today. That's right, we are back. And like I said, we are going to get started with some new power generation and some new everything over here. Because this is... <clears throat> I'm sorry, but this is pathetic, even for me. Actually, I'm really pretty good at this stuff usually, but you know what? This sucks. This is probably the worst thing. Uh, that I could do because the power stuck in these until I put something in them to burn then it can transfer the power so we've got uh, 80,000 RF per tick just kind of stuck here waiting which is really kind of a bummer because there's plenty of room for it in here and I need to you know have more machines so to combat that problem we are going to make a tree farm I think the tree farm will probably be one of the better ways to kind of kick off this uh, whole shebang with uh, some power gin. I will use charcoal to kind of get that stuff to us. And where we're going to put the tree farm is actually going to be out back here. Um, I'm going to just clear out some of these trees real quick. I was thinking about doing it earlier, but I forgot. But yeah, we are going to make a tree farm. And the way the tree farm is going to work, it's actually going to be... A, um, I think I'm going to go with forestry this time. I haven't done forestry in some time. I've done MFR, and nor have I really messed with Ender IO, but Ender IO I think is pretty rough as well. So we might not mess with Ender IO too much um, as far as that farm is concerned, at least starting off, because I, from what I heard, it requires a lot of upkeep, and I don't have the resources for a whole lot of upkeep with that right now. So, yeah, that's definitely what we'll have to do so I think that we will be able to uh, do this with the Ender IO farm or with the I'm sorry with the forestry farm and I'm, I'm sure um, you guys probably haven't seen the forestry farm for some time either so first thing we're actually gonna need is a thermionic fabricator and that's gonna require some bronze now the bronze uh, I have to remember how to make it it's actually just copper and tin uh, so let's see what we got here as far as copper and tin. So there's tin, and I've got a bunch of copper. We're not going to need a whole lot to kind of get started, but we will need some. So that'll give us four. I'm just going to go ahead and finish off that stack. And then I should be able to just put those away. I'll need some of this. And then there's gold over here, or uh, glass over here. So what am I going to need now? I'll need a chest as well. So do I have any chests just laying around? I don't, but I got plenty of wood. So let's go ahead and make a chest out of the wood that I have. Like so, chest, and then I should be able to just click that in. Nope, oh, because I haven't made the sturdy casing yet. Let's just go ahead and clear that out. We'll probably need more in the future, but hey, uh, we need to think about what we got going on right now. So I'm going to put that there, and I'm going to try and grab a couple more power pipes. Uh, build craft, build craft, build craft. There we go. Um, got wooden kinesis pipe, got cobblestone pipes. Hmm, I guess I don't really have too many more of the pipes right now. So we'll just have to make a couple. This should be plenty for now at least. Um, and then I'll need some redstone to go with these. So let's go ahead and make that happen. So now I should be able to just send this over. And that'll send some power over. Cool. Now I am going to need to put liquid glass in here. Or put some glass in here. And this will actually get melted down. So we will see. Uh, what we're going to be building is actually some farm blocks. Now this is a multi-block structure. So that's what we're going to work with. But we need some 10 electron tubes to kind of kick it off. So we need 10. Um, I need to probably process this 10. And then there was some more. There's some. It's not a lot, but we'll pro like I said, we'll process what we have as well. Let's throw that in there. And I'm actually going to um, split these up. Da -doom, da -doom. Let's throw that set in there. That way it'll just transfer some power. It won't transfer a lot, but it'll transfer some. So we'll just do that. Put some redstone in there. That will get us our 10 electron tubes. 
That's just a set. Apparently this is not or dictionaried. It's another set. I'm going to need 36 of these farm blocks total. So let's see. I just want to look this over real quick. Yep, 36 farm blocks. So I'm going to need 36 of these. So let's just see uh, what comes out. Let's grab one more. I might have to go mining for some tin. Oh, we're out of glass. Put some more in there. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to go mining for some tin, so let me do that and I'll bring you guys right back as soon as I get enough. Well, I have the 36 tin electron tubes. We're actually going to need quite a bit of wood as well, so let's go ahead and make that up. Should... no, that's probably not going to be enough. Uh, let's grab those and then we'll probably just grab, uh, I don't know, half a stack of this. Make that into some things and then we'll make those into some things. And then that should probably be enough. We're going to need uh, quite a bit of copper again. Um, and then we will need some stone bricks. So I don't really have any of those at the moment. Let's get our digger's backpack and lock it. Because we're going to need this stuff to go into our inventory. So we are actually going to start smelting some stuff up. I'm going to need 36 stone. Which is something I've kind of run out of. That's it's not usually a good thing, not going to lie. So, I guess we need to wait for that to kind of cook up. And while that's going on, I might throw my copper in and let it cook up as well. Because we're going to need a decent chunk of copper. Now, some other things we're going to need is actually a, a gearbox, which is going to be some tin... Uh, we're going to need a hatch, which is also going to be some tin. And then we're going to need a uh, valve, which is also going to be some tin. So I should be able to take uh, some iron that we have here. And then some tin that was left over. Like so. I'm actually going to cut the connection to this. Because if we're not using it, it's kind of just kind of sucking power. And we, we don't need that. So we just are going to cut the connection to it. Now we're going to need three, five, and uh, three, five, and six. And we're going to need a golden electron tube. So let's go ahead and do that real quick while the machine is still hot. We'll get our golden electron tube for the control of the block. So now we should be able to come over here. I probably am going to need more tin again. Yeah, looks like I will, because that was only one gear, and we are going to need quite a few more. And I don't think that I have any more tin in here. So again, I'm going to wait for this stone to cook up. Where It's almost there, but I'm going to go mining for some more tin. Well, after a little bit of mining, it didn't take me too long, but I got it. Got all the tin that we're going to need, so we got the farm blocks going. Uh, we're going to need a couple of other little things, uh, so let's go for the gearbox first. That should just be this guy here with these underneath. Then we're going to need a hatch, which is actually going to be one of those. That should be pretty easy itself as well. So let's go ahead and put that up there. Two on the side, one in the middle. Then we're going to need a, a valve, which is going to be just two glass with this in the middle and then a farm block up top and then we're going to need the control which is actually going to be a one of those electron tubes and some redstone that just should be two like that like so and then like so all right cool well now we have all of those components that we're going to need i'm actually going to put i don't have a forestry chest yet so we're just going to throw these in there Throw the extra metals away, uh, put those in there, put the wood away, and then we are going to head out back as long as it's day, but it doesn't look like it's day, so we're going to sleep. Oh, you can only sleep at night, so it might be day. Yeah, it's day. Okay, cool. So we are going to need to build a 3x3x4 three by three by hole. It's actually going to just go 1, 2, 3, 4. It actually sounded really loud. Well, we're good. Alright, so... Oh, I forgot. 
I don't have flight in this game. All I have is the um, extra high jump. Turn my headset down just a little bit. That way I can actually, you know, not get my ears blown away. Uh, we're actually going to drop down one more. And I'm going to take these out. And we're going to do this one this way, one this way, one this way, and one this way. I'm actually going to just take out the corners here. This way we have a little bit of room to work and whatnot. And we know, actually for a fact, that we're going to need to go over this way. So why don't we start digging in this direction. And see what mysteries unfold for us. We'll have to come back, take these out by hand. Like so. I thought I had some more torches on me. I do. Very nice. Cool. Now let's just keep going this way. Till I think that we're right about in the right spot. So actually, I think I hear the machines above us. That is our... That's our storage room, so that's not bad at all. Um, I don't know which way exactly I'm going to go yet with all this stuff. Yep, that is our storage room. I think the uh, the um, machinery room is actually going to be over on the other side of the storage room because it's... Uh, I, need, I need a bigger room, I think, than what I have for it currently. So let's just kind of light up this area. Very nice. And then we'll block... Well, no, we won't block that up. But let's go ahead and place these down. I'm going to start at the top. Am I going to be able to jump out of here? Nope, I'm not. So we're going to just place these at the top like so. And then I'll come down one more. Now this is the level where, I mean, it, it's really up to you, but I like to just put some stuff in on this level. So like over here, I'm going to put the hatch, and then over here I'm going to put the um, gearbox. Actually over here is where I'm going to put the valve, not the hatch. The hatch will go over here. Uh, we'll put the farm control in the middle. I think this is just a redstone thing. So I don't think it's really all that important. And then our hatch. Wait. I have nine more blocks. So that's not exactly what I wanted. But hey, it'll work. So we just wait a second. It takes a second for it to form. But as soon as it does, we'll see that band, and then we'll have our farm. Very nice, right? I thought so. I thought you would enjoy that. Well, we are going to need a couple more things. Let's uh, let's get our way out of here real quick. Just going to go right here. I know I have the big boy shovel, but I don't always want to use the big boy shovel. All right, so that is placed. Now we're actually going to um, need to come down a layer. So we'll just do this all around. And then it's actually going to come out two from this direction. Hey, guy, what are you doing? One, two. Oh, actually, that's not right. Give me my diggers backpack. Real quick, I need to gather. So that's three. That should be about right. Oh, actually, these come out four. So if we come out four, then take these out, this will work a little bit better for us. So I'm going to dig that out and then gather up the rest of the supplies. All right, guys. Well, I think I got kind of everything semi set up. It's definitely not automated at this point. 
but we will get it very very close here in a moment uh, I will go down and I will show you as soon as I get some more um, as soon as I get some more of this stuff Let's see I, actually that can all go in there as long as I have this one stack we should be good we should be good so let's see uh, let's go down uh, oh, by the way, you have to place down a layer of stone brick or, you know, whatever you prefer when it comes to this. There's a, a list of stuff on the wiki that you can actually use. It's either stone brick, chiseled stone brick, cracked stone brick, mossy stone brick, smooth sandstone, chiseled sandstone, bricks, or nether bricks. And that'll, you know, take care of that for you. So down here I have an aqueous accumulator feeding water to this farm keep it hydrated that I have it feeding to these two steam dynamos that we actually have powering this puppy so and then I have some fertilizer being pumped in over here I don't have that automated yet but I will get it to be and then that fertilizer will go in that'll help the farm and I should uh, we'll go back up top and I should be able to plop some dirt in here and we should see the dirt go no maybe I got to do it myself I don't really remember what the configuration is. Um, soil is dirt, fertilizer, saplings. So yeah, let's give it some dirt. Oh, there it goes. It's doing it. So let's give it some more dirt just to be sure that it'll have enough. So it's planting all the saplings and everything. Uh, this is a completely automated process because this is what's called a managed farm. It's called the Arboretum, and that's what your your thing right here is going to be by default. Now, there's other farms that we can get into later down the road uh, where you will actually need to put different chips in and whatnot. And again, that's something later down the road that we'll get into and everything like that. So now I kind of need to automate this a little bit. We'll see that thing get torn down fairly quickly, I believe. Oh, yeah, the wood's already gone, so we should see wood in here. Yep. The saplings are going to go back into the system and get reused, which is awesome. These are actually probably going to turn into apple oak saplings because they're going to uh, forestry. So we should see here what happens. Um, the rest of this should get filled in unless there's not enough. Oh, there's plenty of dirt. There's plenty of dirt for this to get filled in. So I'm not sure why it hasn't filled in the rest just yet. Why can't I get up here? <laughs> ah! Yeah, that's kind of weird that it's not filling in the rest of the way. Why is it not doing that? Hmm. Maybe it will. Maybe it's just taking some time. Because I know this thing is going to require power. And I know also that we are not really supplying it with a lot of power. And so that might be part of it. But we are now going to need um, some different pipes. And these pipes are going to be all related to Buildcraft. We're going to try our best to uh, do what we can with these. Um, so what we're going to need to do is we are going to need to pump out all the oak and apples into a chest or maybe even a barrel system. So let's go. I might just nab a couple of these barrels here real quick. Yeah, let's actually do uh, a third one. And this is all going to be related to um, build crafts. So I'm going to try my best. We're actually going to need to do... Um, oh gosh. I think diamond transport pipes. Let's do um, some of those. Let's do a diamond transport pipe. And this should be pretty simple setup. Oh, I might also need a redstone engine. Do I have one of those? I have a hobbyist steam engine. So we're going to need, like I said, redstone engine. This guy right here, it's just a pretty simple build, actually. Uh, do I have any pistons? And nope, don't have any pistons around either. So we'll just need some wood. We'll need some iron. Just, uh, just one for now. Need a couple of pieces of redstone. 
And I should have the cobble on me, so let's go ahead and make the piston. And then let's go ahead and make the gears. So that's just two of those. Boom, 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 boom. And then that. And then we should just need one more thing. It's just a lever. And then we should be pretty dang set. So start of something big. Oh, I need to eat as well. So let's look. How much of this dirt is being used up? It looks like it's... It'll probably fix itself. I'm not sure. It's been a while since I've used these, so you never know. Um, also, I'm going to need a wooden transport pipe because I have a wooden kinesis pipe. And they don't work the same. There we go. Wooden transport pipe. That guy is going to go right there. And then... Um, Let's say we're going to go here, here, so actually uh, you know what's not going to work is pumping in from the bottom, I always forget about that, so we're going to need to come up and behind, let's go ahead and place our java barrels real quick. Maybe I'll do it through here, that way we don't have to worry about connections. Um, and then we'll just have one there. I really shouldn't need the other two, but let's grab our stuff out of here real quick. Just uh, one of those and some of those. And I just want a sapling. So we'll say saplings will go black. Um, yellow will be apples. And then green will be wood. So that should be a thing. And then I should be able to just hit that. Actually, I don't want you to connect. So yeah, we're going to come out again. Like so. And these are actually really hard to see in the night sky. <laughs> Oh, we're going to need some more, so let me run down here to the crafting table. Uh, just plop this down. Another eight should be plenty, I would think. And then three. I'm going to grab these, and then I'm going to put that on there. And that should start to pump the items out. Um, they can go slow at first because it doesn't really matter. But we might throw, you know what, let's go ahead and do that. I actually have access to the metals chest right up here. I'm going to make some golden pipes. Because gold pipes will make this stuff move one heck of a lot faster. So you'll see, that, yeah, they're right there. So I'm going to break these out. We'll just kind of place these. I don't want to stop those from going, you know. So they haven't come up yet, but they should probably be getting pretty dang close. Let's run up here. Alright, the first apple is making its way up. One apple. So yes, we have an auto You little freak. We have an automated farm for trees. That is awesome. That is just incredible. I am super excited about this because this is actually one of those farms that I have not done in quite a long time. So I am just, I'm kind of pumped to see it and you know, just the nostalgia of it is, is pretty cool. So um, let's see, okay watch this apple, you know how long the last one took. It's going to speed up every time it hits one of those. Now, it will slow it back down once it gets up here, but at least it'll move a little bit faster through those. And we have three apples. How cool is that? 
I think it's pretty dang cool. Let's see. Uh, do I see any skeletons on my map? I do. I see one right up there, actually. Hello there, guy. Can you give me your, your bones? I think you can. Alright, let's see if we can bone meal a tree and see the wood go through. So, it looks like it's taking the bone meal, but not doing anything. I really want to see the wood go through, guys. Come on. Come on. Now, eventually, we're going to have to uh, do some funky routing and actually get some dirt going here because this dirt actually turns uh, to something else. I don't remember what, but it doesn't say dirt forever. So, we will have to give that a try eventually. So yeah, uh, let me let this run for a little bit and I'll see how it turns so out. So this thing is actually running really well. When the trees grow, it sends the wood over almost immediately. You can see we have 41 now, which is awesome. We got 12 apples, things holding on. Now you won't see the saplings come over until this thing fills up with saplings. So it'll be like six stacks and then we'll start to see saplings over here. But that's probably gonna be a little ways down the road. For now, I am going to actually leave this run for a while. I'm going to let it gather up some wood. Next episode, we'll probably go ahead and automate this and uh, start on that power production that I was talking about. So guys, my name is Drax. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next episode.